Hey crafty people, Ashley here with another episode of Make It With Ashley, and today we have a spooky layout. Um, so I went through my stash and pulled out some Halloween stuff. So this is the current one, fabulous. This is a new Rewards Your Way called Magic Is All Around that you can only get if you want to host a party. Um, but that one's super cool. I actually didn't end up using it on this layout, but I did use um, the Halloween Buddies from last year. They're still available when I checked and made this video, and that is Isaac and Ezra, and I actually use kind of the elements from that. Now, I had these photos I really liked, and I wanted to kind of find some reds and like blacks and grays. So I dug through my stash and I found this red comfort and joy. So it's actually Christmas paper for my Halloween layout, right? Um, <clears throat> and then um, the other one is going to be the sweet as honey. So right, see that honeycomb pattern on there? And I thought that was a fun kind of geometric pattern. It worked great for my layout. So my main idea was to kind of create a scene um, on this white paper down below. So that little Halloween spooky tree really spoke to me. And I used first and second and even third generation stamping to kind of create this idea of like a creepy forest. Okay. Um, some of the second and third don't show up very well, but you'll see some close ups at the end and you can kind of really see that neat like trees in the mist kind of thing. Okay. And then, of course, because I'm a zombie, I needed some blood splatter, so I thought the Scarlet uh, Shimmer Brush or Shimmer Pen would be perfect for that. Um, so you can see I'm doing some light flicks, and then I'm actually squeezing it over to get large drips onto my paper. Um, you do want to kind of set that aside, be careful, because it will smear. So I'm bringing my photos in, kind of checking the placement. Um, I really liked just kind of that horizontal. It's very simple, basic. Um, because I have such dark colors, I don't really need to map my photos. Now, um, the Halloween Buddies Ezra stamp set has this really cool fence uh, die cut. Now, like this die cut I can use for so many things. It doesn't have to just be a spooky fence. It can be any type of fence. I do like that it's not like a perfect fence. It's kind of lopsided. And that the pieces were very easy to kind of just match up and turn into a longer section. Um, it also came with this cute little um, tombstone. And then I wanted them to kind of pop. I wanted to keep kind of very just um, blacks, reds, grays. That's it. Okay. Um, so I wanted to go with a black with a silver on there. Since I did bring in that shimmer brush, I thought I always like something that kind of sparkles. And I had planned to bring in a bunch of uh, heat embossing onto this particular layout. So I was thinking I want a little graveyard between these fence. So that's what this gap's going to be. Um, earlier when I was doing some shimmer brushing, I put a post-it down uh, to prevent the splatter from getting where I was going to journal. Okay, so you can always mask things, right? So that's how that, that's my plan for that right empty spot there. Now, um, the Halloween Buddies Isaac stamp set has this really cute little haunted house. Um, I had already had one stamped and, um, uh, and die cut, and I knew I wanted it flat on the paper, but I was using this to kind of play around and see, well, where do I want this to be? And I decided it looks great against these um, this first and second generation tree. So I make sure that that's well stamped and inked up. And I go ahead and press that down. And that's kind of super cute. Um, it's fun. And then uh, next is going to be bringing in these little bats. Okay, so this is on the Isaac stamp set. So the same one is that house. And so I kind of place them and then I kind of turn them so that they're going some slightly different like directions so it doesn't look like the same exact stamp. Um, another option is you can always cut these apart with scissors and you can have individual vats that I could have placed wherever. All right, so now that I have kind of uh, figured out the placement, I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down. And that is gonna be with the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. And you can see, I like to use liquid glue for something like this because I have a little bit of wiggle room. If I need to scooch them left, right, kind of get them into the right place, um, <clears throat> I, I have that little range of motion. 
Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my black shimmer brush. So the idea behind this is to kind of create some, some hills and grounds, and I want it to be very kind of like rough. We have this splatter, we have um, these first and second generation stamps. I kind of want more of this grunge look for this layout. So I kind of am creating these hills, and then I'm going to put a tombstone on top of each little like, I guess, grave mound, you might want to say. These photos are a lot of fun. So this is me dressing up for Halloween day at my high school. So I teach high school math and um, <clears throat> I like to dress up as a zombie. So this is actually still during COVID time. Um, this is 2021. So we've already come back to school. Uh, we still have to wear a mask when we are inside. Um, so this is me taking some pictures with and without the mask on. But I like to dress up as a zombie or some other type of scary something and walk around and, uh, uh, you know, torment some of my high school students. So it's kind of fun. Um, they always get a kick out of it. A lot of them think it's neat. Um, and just always a lot of fun. But, uh, so you can see I am doing some heat embossing. So that is going to be um, one of the new stamp sets that are out. That is the Fabulous stamp set. It has one of my new favorite things, which is a corner spider web, but it goes on the corner of a photo, right? Instead of like, you know, only being 90 degrees, it's 270 degrees. So I thought that was really neat and I've gotten a lot of use using that on cards, layouts already. Um, so another thing I really like about our acrylic stamps is I can bend it. So, um, that spider, that's a straight string and I can just bend it however I want. So that way that spider can be coming off of the corner and it's not going to have him hit it. Okay. Um, another thing is they made that spider web stamp, um, so it is asymmetrical, so that way uh, one side is larger, so when you rotate it and have it on that opposite corner, it looks different than um, on that left-hand photo. I couldn't resist adding some cute little bats, right? We already had some on our little created scene down below, so putting some larger bats, I felt like really kind of brought it in. This is my trick with journaling. I like to use my ruler and a versamat, and then I can line up my lines, and then it's real easy to do my journaling. Um, and I think this one I did in pencil because um, I wanted kind of a just kind of a light. You can erase the lines. I kind of like the look of them. Um, I'd added some more like grunge and texture. I felt like to the page. Okay. Uh, so I added some, some more splatter to the main, the page base. I went ahead and added just my silver, or I think it's actually, sorry, it's clear shimmer brush, um, which is just, it just adds sparkles, right? Um, I didn't think the red scarlet splatter would show up as well. And I really liked that embossing with that spooky and everything. Um, and then I was kind of thinking I need more of a title. And it also needed to be framed. Um, I needed just a little something. So I brought out my white gel pen and I went around the edge and that really kind of helped center because um, there's a lot of chaos and grunge and splatter and everything. And that frame kind of helped. Um, also other ideas is I could have um, kind of cut like a little quarter inch off of each side and matted it on white. That would have also been neat. But um, I really liked that white gel pen. So this is one of my, one of my favorite, uh, thin cut alphabets. It's actually called the classic alphabet and it's like a bigger, thicker. So whenever I have titles that are shorter words, this is uh, my favorite one. So I did brains. Um, I always joke with my students and tell them teachers love brains, right? We want our students to be smart. So I thought that was a fun, appropriate title for this. And then, um, when I add some of my, uh, um, embossing thread. I like to wrap it three times around my finger and then I roll it onto a glue dot and I can use my tweezers to place it underneath and stick it down. And then I can pull the loops to be slightly different lengths. That way they're not the same. And, um, it really kind of adds a fun, different texture to the layout. And then again, um, that repeating element with that, those different silvers. And then I like to add sometimes in threes, if I can, it's that visual triangle. 
and then I just needed a little bit more red. So I didn't really have any red dots or gems. So I found some Christmas sequins and was able to just dig the red ones out. And they were perfect. They're a nice, deep, like that scarlet color. So it worked well. And it added just that little pop of color to kind of complement. Okay. Um, I love how this one came out. This one was super fun. And it's it was super easy. Plus, building that scene using stamps was kind of a neat challenge to do. Um, I love how it turned out that kind of uh, first and second generation spooky stamping. Um, the graveyard, the shimmer pin, the splatter, just so much fun all around. Um, let me know what you think. Do you have any Halloween photos? Do you like to dress up cute or do you like to dress up scary? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. You can also join my Facebook group for lots of fun um, crafty adventures, challenges, lives, giveaways, all kinds of stuff. And if you like any of the products, you will see a link for everything that is currently available in the more section. So don't forget to check that out. And as always, don't forget to craft on.